Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the final game of World Championship, it's not even the final game, it's more likely to last game, whoever wins the game, wins the trophy because they have the equal points, if the game game become draw, then there is nothing to do with this, eat ice cream with $5 and go back to your home, and this is your today's puzzle, 100 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, so let's go, Ding started with d4 we have knight f6. First time Ding played c4 because it's the last game of Fide, he have to play correctly, rather than playing unstable opening like e3 h4 or g3, he played standard opening because he have to win the game and won the championship to buy a Lamborghini, e6 knight c3 bishop b4 by Ian, top rated alpha zeros move and e3, rather than playing center developing moves like this, he played castle first, first time I see a game of Grandmaster where black castles first than white. a3 and you shouldn't take the knight because after bishop takes bishop ding's pawn structure will be unbreakable, I taught you in my last video that it your opponent's structure made by dark square then save the dark square bishop, to break them in the middle game or end game, Ian did it because he knows it from stockfish, knight g3, c5, pawn takes c5 and we have bishop takes pawn, queen up to c2, activating the queen on this c file and this diagonal. We have exchanges in c4 square bishop takes c4 knight d7, here best move is to play knight e4 to reduce black's kingside safety by taking the knight but ding played rook d1 very obstacle move, bishop to e7 by ian but best move was to play b6 to activate the bishop on this diagonal, you no need to passiving the bishop, hippo is just trying to defense every attacks from money ding, knight here but best was to play e4, because Ian get a chance to play h6 to kicking out the knight. It may looks like Ding wasted a move but he can also take the pawn after rook takes, bishop takes pawn and Ding will win back win material, but the game will be a draw, so best move is to play knight e4, let me show you the variation, after knight e4 if you take the knight then knight takes e4 will come and if you try to do the same exchange with the knights again then white will accept your proposal and two moves later bishop, b4 will come to target your rook and the queen. World Championship will be complete here Ding Liren is a 2800 elo player so he played h4, I really like this move even it's not the best move, if you take the knight then after pawn takes, this will target the knight because the rook and queen is line up on there to checkmate the king, so in this position, best move is to play queen b6 then knight e4 will come to eliminate your knights from king safety, 200 elo rated players will take the knight then after queen takes. It will be total devastating for you, if you play g6 to block the diagonal then the queen will come like this to checkmate you. With 200 elo strategy, your parents will be proud of you, so if you play f5 then after bishop takes check queen takes takes blocks then g6, kill a move and the game will be over, so back to the position, we have queen to c7 to target the bishop, here best is to play bishop here let me show you the variation, putting the bishop on this diagonal to x-ring the king, if you play any normal move then knight d5 will come, sacrificing the knight and you cannot take it because of queen takes queen. And if you do queen exchange yourself then knight takes bishop with a check will come and you will lose your bishop after completing the queen exchange, so queen d7 knight takes bishop takes and bishop b4, black will lose the rook and the game, but in our actual game, Ding played bishop e2 passive move instead of playing bishop b3, so rook d8, rook c1 threatening the same tactic which Ding found it now after thinking for 40 minutes. Yes you heard right, 40 minutes, I can defeat them with 10 seconds only, this knight will target to these two pieces, if you take the queen then knight takes bishop will come and your king position will be in a bad condition, in this position some inferior human with 50 IQ can think, stockfish, if the knight comes here then I can take it and at the same, it will protect the queen, so let me show you, after rook here knight e4, so knight takes d5 as you think, try to save the queen, then brilliant move queen h7, going over your head, king here checkmate, a fool always be a fool, don't look for a single thing in chess, look at the multiple things in chess with one move, so in this position, we have knight f4 to cover the file, knight e4 and we have knight exchanges in the center, Ian accepts the queen sacrifice being a higher rated player than ding, rook takes bishop d7 bishop to b4 and he have another bishop exchanges, bishop e6 by Ian. 
Here best move is to play bishop f3 but Ding doesn't care for it, played knight c5, sacrificing the pawn which Ian accepted it, Ding thinks, wow I get the open g file like the Stockfish vs AlphaZero game, last day which Stockfish uploaded on his YouTube channel, but fool, you have no more than two materials to attack the king, Ding says really, let me chance the bishop then, and I win back by pawn rook to d4 rook c4 rook back to d7 knight c5, rook c7 inaccuracy move best was to play rook d6. And I have a best move for you guys, subscribe the channel to improve your IQ and tactical vision in chess, it is your best move to subscribe to my YouTube channel, rook here rook c8, best is to play knight b7, let me show you the variation, after knight here rook takes pawn takes rook takes c3 king here to touch him, white loses a pawn but his pieces are more active than the black pieces, but it is a totally drawable game, back to the position. We have before but Ian creates pressure to the knight with knight d7, rook to g3 but best was to play king here after takes takes rook takes we have rook takes check. And after some moves later we have rook to d7 but better was to move the king because he can give a check and get active his rook on 8th rank but monkey mind ding played king e2 instead of giving a check, so rook c3 to target the bishop with 1-2 pieces, check, here, rook here, e5 another inaccuracy move, you weaken your structure, best was to play rook b3, it's totally headache for me to watch human endgame chess, there is lots of mistakes, anyway watch the with my piano music. Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.